Sweet. How long have you been doing comedy, Lev? Uh, about to be 10 years. Wow. Then you have a podcast, I think, too. Yeah. The Lev Fur Show. Right. I feel like, I feel like it's hardly legible, but we're going to get the back, too. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, Lev Fur Show on the Gas Digital Network. We do that once a week. Oh, okay. Um, it's a fun show. It's very, right, right, right. very silly, very, you know... Just uh, us calling each other fat and gay for an hour. Yeah. yeah. Well, what the heck? That's yeah. what it's all become. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. You need to tell me cards. Welcome back. You need to tell me cards. I'm not very aroused right now. Uh, but my name is David Bacon, and yes. Everything is better with me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, everything. It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and it's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm here with Lev Fur. What's up? And okay. you just crushed a set. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. They were a great crowd, right? At the Comedy Cellar. Yeah, yeah. for St. Patrick's. I thought people would be way drunk. That's today. what I thought too. I thought everybody was gonna be hammered, but they uh, there was luckily there were some Mormons in there. People kept it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. we got a whole bunch of cards. Nice. And uh, uh, so you just pick out whatever you know, and you can flip and whatever, and okay. then I'll we just get flip. You flip through, right. find get, something that ooh, looks interesting. I'm taking the Michael Jackson pack. Super. That's like Michael. I would, um, let's see. The only person who's opened to Michael Jackson before is uh, Mike Vecchione. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, right. I have multiples of them. Good company. Sorry. I like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Do you still listen to the songs? Yes. Do you... Yeah, yeah. He's a killer, man. Yeah. He's the best. Oh, that's Billie Jean. Wow. I think that's Billie Jean or Thriller. Yeah. All right. I'm excited. I was just thinking of... Uh... Today I woke up and I was like, I should wake up every day and listen to Michael Jackson. So you still listen to him? I love it. I mean, all, us pedophiles, we really got to represent. And uh, So it's not even about separating the art from that. It's, <laughs> it's about uh, brotherhood. I listen <laughs> muted. <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Wait, let's show these. What am I looking at? It looks like it's probably, that's the backside with the puzzle pieces. Sometimes oh. they make, you never know how they're going to. Okay. So that's all the back. Oh, all and right. there's some front ones. All right, let's see what's going on here. You got MJ pretending to look at a magazine. That's almost thrillery with that yeah, red coat or that's something. That's the thriller jacket. Yeah. Now he's in he's in uh, sparkles. This is bad era, right? Yeah, with that white. Yeah, that's the glove and. Yeah. All right. Let's flip these others over. This is. I mean, that's like your friends with Andy Warhol for too long. That's a yeah. It's almost like a Bill Cosby sweater. Yeah. This was the moonwalk set. And that's a sticker, the Moonwalk one. Oh, all right, these are going on the fridge. Yo, yeah, that's this a... is when he transitioned. Wow. Looking a little feminine here. Yeah, these are cool. Oh, it's like a mix of stickers and cards. Yeah. I don't remember so many stickers. How before. old is this gum in here? Um, the, the, well, it's whenever year the pack came from. So okay. it's probably it probably says somewhere. There's probably a date. But the only the only cards I've ever seen that has the gum in a wrapper is the Michael Jackson. Usually really? it's just the loose nude gum, like baseball cards or something. Ooh, okay. Man, I I wonder if I would ever risk trying this. Well, many Are you chewing gum from one of these right now? I'm not chewing it from one of these. <laughs> but Norman ate the gum. Oh, really? yeah, but he's he'll take anything Simeon free. Goodson ate the gum. It dissolved in Simeon's mouth. Josh Adam Myers has eaten the gum. Um, That's like, crazy, man. Like five people have eaten gum. I'm scared to eat no the No one is happy with it. All right, well, now I don't have to No do one's it. happy with it. No, why would you do it? It smells like uh, like cement. Yeah, it can't be good. <laughs> I'm going to give it to my girlfriend. Like I thought Look, it. it's such, oh, yeah. It's so cool that it has the little Michael Jackson on cool, the gum, yeah. the wrapper. Tops made a... That, uh, made of gum. Yeah. This is wild. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I I saw a video of you doing this, and I feel like you're kind of like comedy's Nardwar. You know who that guy is? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Someone, uh, one person has made that reference to Nardwar. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Oh, Did and there's a, there's one of you in it, too. <laughs> wait. <laughs> you're like Nardwar because, for cards. Because, oh, wait. He goes, wait a minute. Wait and a then minute. there's one of me and Mike. <laughs> oh, he's so Oh, I said it. Shit. He knows the nope. first name now. There you go. Just... You'll never get it. No, I... So I paid... God damn. I paid to see you. <laughs> I can't fucking think of it right now. You're the one. Yeah. And, and, yes, I have in the... Like, like if I know certain things about, like, people... Like, right, so, right. like, um, 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 um... Kyle Dunnigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny guy. He did, uh... uh 
Rocky, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw him in Rhode Island, and I was like going through my records, and I had a freaking Rocky made nice. an album. Yeah, and so yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh well, here I got it. So there was being the most Nardwar I ever yeah. had been with you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, I don't know if you remember, you did my show, Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee. You opened like Rocky 3 or 5. My David. hair is a little longer. You're yes! David. Kyle, you got I it. I don't know, I didn't recognize it. Well, because my hair, I cut my hair. Because now it's freaking. But I remember you, David. Yeah, because, yes, perfect. You I gave me a gum that, that was growing pain. And a Rocky, too. Though. Oh, because you took growing pains home. I took growing pains yes. and Rocky. Too. And you said you were going to go see Oppenheimer. Yeah. You were excited yes. to see that movie. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. Everybody's excited about that movie. Yeah, yeah. She's excited about tennis. Yeah, because yeah, uh, Djokovic, 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 Djokovic tonight. Djokovic, Djokovic tonight. tonight. Yeah. Something. Do, yeah. you, do you? Wait, there was a lot of Djokovic's tonight. The Djokovic's yes. right? on stage. Said Djokovic. yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe how many things they made cards of. Like they made it's, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Um, yeah, it's 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 absolutely. And if you just sign one, oh yeah, I mean you can keep the others if you want. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me. Which one do you like the most? It, it's, I, I yeah. love when the. Comedians just choose whatever the heck. And I think whatever. this one's special. I'm gonna sign this one. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Sweet. How long have you been doing comedy, Lev? Uh, about to be ten years. Wow. Then you have a podcast, I think, too. Yeah, the Lev Fur Show. Right. I feel like I feel like it's hardly legible, but we're gonna get the back too. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, Love Fur Show on the Gas Digital Network. We do that once a week. Oh, okay. Um, it's a fun show. It's very, right, right, right. very silly. Very, you know. Just uh, us calling each other fat and gay for an hour. Yeah. Well, what the heck? That's yeah. what it's all become. That's pretty much it. It's just comedians just bullshitting with each other. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this one, the Thriller era. Yeah. And I'm going to put that on the fridge. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Dude. Well, whatever you want is cool. I love people doing stuff like this. I, like, who you know, who else is going to do this? Like, if you got a hobby, you got to share it with people. Well, so, yeah. Well, I, ca I, I, I came down and I, I used to... I've come down. I live in New Hampshire. Yeah, I yeah. come down every couple of weeks when it's nice weather and right, stuff, or whatever right. I can. Yeah. And then I was seeing all these shows, and it's like, okay, I can say hi and that, and it's like, okay, right. but I, but it's like I need something, and I was like, oh my god, I sell crap online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, everyone likes to open stuff. Okay, I need. And then I'm like, what could they? I'm like, oh, those little cards. Perfect, and then yeah. there's like every kind of thing, and then you don't, you never know what someone will relate to. Yeah. Like the fact, you know, like who's picking the different cards and 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 what the, you know. Right. I, I I grew up obsessed with trading cards, so I was like, I was a big Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic guy, all that stuff. So I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma I, uh, uh, Glassman still plays Magic. Yeah, I, I'm like, once I have some downtime, I, I always end up creeping back in slowly. He's like, always looking for someone to play Magic with. Oh, really? No one wants to play Magic, so he said he wants to get into. There's some new game that's not a Gen One or a something okay. One game or something. But he was like, yeah, I can't find people to play Magic. Oh, all right. So well, I bet you could have a little comedy Magic League with the people, with the people, right? Because you were a big Magic the Gathering, and you made money selling them and doing that stuff. I believe I heard. I did. I did used to buy and sell. Magic cards. I also right. played, right, 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 uh, and still do. But the only thing out there right now is really uh, Commander, and I don't play Commander. I think I'm going to get into Commander. But as a time being, it's hard to find people to play classic Type One kind of games. Type One. Um, That'd be fun. I was trying to get a Dungeons and Dragons series for a minute, but I feel like no one would want to do it. I well, think there's. There's people who podcast about D and D. Yeah. There's like those D and D play that I think some do okay. I, I wanted to get like I thought it, how fun it would be if you had like a guy like Dan Soder being a wizard oh my and God. just riffing as a fuck it like Soder's opening basketball cards now. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, for his new pod because he got he's got like a box of 1987 basketball cards and then yeah. when sports fans do the show then. Right, they'll, right. they'll open the card. But if it's like someone who's not a fan, obviously it's like not gonna waste the freaking thing. And yeah. I think someone pulled like a card that was worth a thousand plus dollars. Yeah. And right. then I think so and it was like, well maybe I'll keep or something. Right, like right, it was right. like all of a sudden it's like, oh no no no, it's like fine hey. print. there's some fine print on yeah, this. Yeah, what the heck? You know? Yeah. So I don't know if you guys know, but like uh, tomorrow, uh, the next day, and then the next day, Dan Soder is gonna freaking be here. And if yeah. you don't know who he is, uh, you should come see him. Crush. <laughs> uh, yeah, amazing. Um, well, yeah, man. Well, yeah. I appreciate it. This is awesome, Lev. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm honored to be a part of it.
that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.